Hey guys, so it's currently 93 degrees Fahrenheit outside and the heat index, so like what it feels like is 103. It's hot, huh? So I was like, what can I do when it's so hot outside? So this is what I came up with. Many times I've been actually asked by people who takes your dog outside, who feeds your dog, who basically takes care of your dog. The short answer is me, but you might be like, oh my gosh, you're blind though, so like how do you do it? Step one is grooming, and for grooming, I use this lovely brush and this comb. I actually start with the front of her body, and so I'll do right here. And if you look closely, her fur comes down, and so you always wanna brush with the direction of the dog's fur. After that, I typically do this part, so behind her head, and again, the direction of her fur. Then we move down the body and it goes all the way until the end. For me personally, it's all about feel. So I like to feel if her fur is soft and smooth. I like to feel there's little pieces coming off and that tells me if I'm done doing it or not. Then I would actually repeat with the comb, doing kind of the same stuff. Cleaning the brushes. Take the comb and I go through the bristles to get the fur. So that is how I would do it if I was doing a full brushing, but I'm just doing this for the purpose of the video, so it's not gonna be the most fur coming off her body because I only did a few brushes through. Next up is brushing her teeth. This is the dog safe toothpaste I use, and this is a dog toothbrush. Just like as if I was brushing my teeth, I like to turn the faucet on hot. Then I'm gonna rinse it off under the water. Then I put toothpaste on the brush. Next step is to put her in a sit. The next step would be to gently grab her snout. Lift and brush. I would then do the same thing on the opposite side, making sure that I also get the back teeth. In here is her dog food and she eats wellness. I'm gonna throw half a cup and then we level it. Most guide dogs have a target weight, which is the weight that they should be at because they are athletes. I also measure out her water just in case we go out into public because if they have too much water, they might accidentally go to the bathroom in public places because of emergencies, even though they are house trained. Each water time, she gets two cups of water and during the summer, I like to mix it with her food because otherwise she doesn't typically like to drink her water. So they are trained to wait for their food. So then I would tell her to wait after she's in a sit and then I would say break. Next up is bathroom time. And so I would use these dog boots because it is so hot and it is so important to protect your dog's paws from the heat and from salt and chemicals in the winter. Good girl. I'm not gonna show you her going to the bathroom, but what I typically would do is I would say her bathroom command, which is get busy. And basically they are trained to not go in harness. So the harness always has to be off when they're going to the bathroom. Trail my hand down this leash to her body. Feel her back. If it's arched, she's going not number one. And if it's flat, she is going number one. If it was the first thing I said, I would then feel where her body is again. I would line my foot up and I would aim it towards where she was standing. Then I would walk forward with this handy dandy crinkly thing and I would pick it up, tie it, and bring it to the trash can. This leash actually has two settings, so then I would flip it back to the shorter setting and then put her harness back on so she knows that she's going back to work. That is all I have for you guys today. If you liked it, make sure to share it with a friend because education is key. Subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. Bye guys.